Hey guys, I am back with another video and today it's all about the fragrance. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I wanna to talk to you all about a couple of fragrances that I have in my collection that have a lactonic note or a milky note. And those are going to be fragrances that have a coconut type of smell or a almond milk or milk based desserts. And sometimes it can even be listed as peach. So I have a couple here that I want to talk to you all about. And at the end of the video, let me know if you have any type of fragrances that have a lactonic note and if that is your jam. All right, so the first fragrance that I want to talk about is Milk by Commodity. And first up, let me just say that this particular brand has three different categories. It's got the personal category to where if you're not one that just kind of likes a fragrance to jump out at you or just kind of knock the other person out you can go for the personal um, category it also has the expressive which uh, is somewhere in between and it has the bold which is if you like bold fragrances and you want to you want people to smell you right when you walk into the door then you would pick bold this particular scent that I have is expressive and I think that that's good for me I don't want to do too little yet and still I don't want to do too much and this is a unisex fragrance however in my opinion I think I think at least just a tad bit more masculine. My husband and I were actually in Sephora and we were just kind of doing what we do, sniffing around, seeing what we like. And this little baby popped up and initially, I'm thinking, okay, yes, I can wear it. I, I, I feel it. I, I smell the lactonic note. I'm loving it. However, mm, I felt like over time, and when I say over time, I mean like in a couple of hours, I felt as though it leaned a little bit masculine, and for now, he's the one wearing it. However, it definitely can be worn by a woman, and this one has a lactonic note, you know, hence milk. So it is in that warm, spicy category. However, what's making that lactonic note, you know, resonate whenever you smell it is the marshmallow note as as well as a milk note but once it dries down on the skin that's when you're getting a lot of the more warm and spicy notes however you still do smell that milk accord and I think that that's why uh, it's uh, listed as a unisex because marshmallow and, and milk, typically those particular notes smell a little bit more feminine, whereas you have other notes that just kind of smell more masculine. Because this fragrance isn't as um, powering or just in your face strong, I feel as though it could go for any season. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. It just kind of lies somewhere in between and the sillage is really really nice. Everything is subtle on here. It's nothing that's going to hit you in the face. As far as the longevity, I would say a good solid four hours. And that's just really with it sitting close to your skin. This is a nice size bottle. And I think for this, it was like 145, but you don't need a lot. You can just spray one uh, spray and then you can be good. Um, other things that I like about it is, you know, the, the sprayer, I don't want to waste it because I don't want to, <laughs> I like for my fragrances to last so long. And I know you're like, girl, how much are you going to lose with just spraying one spray? Not that much, but, um, the sprayer is good. Sometimes when you buy fragrances, you know, the, the little sprayer is, and I know I'm saying that word incorrectly, it's uh, it's messed up. You, you can't even hardly spray it, but all of that is good. And it's just a good quality, well-made product if that is something that is important to you. But if those type of notes are, you know, if you enjoy those type of notes, the lactonic notes, marshmallows and cold milk, this would be um, really good to you. It does have a other notes in it and I'll try to put them somewhere on the screen But I mainly want to talk about those lactonic notes and to me Considering that they are they lean a little bit more I'll just say sweet, you know If you're dealing with a note that is going to be like marshmallows uh, milk based desserts things like that creams and all of that 
those typically in my opinion just alone lean a little bit more feminine but when you do add in those other aspects you know it just kind of makes it one and I think that's why a lot of people consider this a unisex category but anyway I've jabbered on enough about this fragrance and this is milk all right next up i have devotion by dolce and cabana and initially when i bought this one it had a lemon note and i love lemon i like uh, when lemon i like to smell lemon in my home i like to burn candles that have a lemon scent you know how can you go wrong with a lemon scent but this one also has that lactonic note in it. And remember, lactonic notes, you're going to get those milk-based fragrances or notes. And this one has pancotta in it. And we all know that that's an Italian cream dessert. And while for the most part of it, you do get that lemon. The lemon is always there, okay? But the lactonic notes of this fragrance, it lingers, it's sitting in the background and you can still smell it. It doesn't go away. And I really don't know, you know, I know that um, all of the perfumers have that mixture or combination down to a T, but it's, it's, I think it's cool that you can keep that lemon note and then that lactonic note, it's still there. This one, I wouldn't say, is unisex I don't well, I mean I guess I get uh, a man could wear it I feel as though it is very sweet and feminine and the longevity is incredible on this one I think the sillage is incredible this one is one if you spray too much you well I guess if you spray anything too much when you enter a room someone is you know other people are going to smell you but you're just going to be you're just going to continuously smell this one this one's going to stick on your clothes you know it's not going to go away kind of like you spray if you do spray it on your clothes and when you come in or go back to you put your clothes in a dirty clothes laundry then you get ready to wash your clothes you pull out your dirty clothes you're gonna still smell this fragrance so it is very strong but you only need a little and yeah I found myself over spraying this you know and I was like oh my god why did I because it's just too much it, it, if you over spray it so yeah a lactonic note if you like those uh, milky type of notes uh, mixed with lemon because the lemon is there she's there she's at the party she's got her magnificent dress on and she wants you to know you're there the lemon is like that in here and then the lac uh, the lactonic notes they're there too and it stays but it's just kind of set in the background but I love this I'll put the notes on the screen or I should have the notes already on the screen but I really do like this one. all right so the next fragrance to make the list is by Kayali and this is the Yum Pistachio Gelato um, 33 and this one let me tell you it's got a lot of lactonic notes in it it has whipped cream it's got marshmallow it's got pistachio all of those milk based desserts that everybody loves or if not everybody most people <laughs> love them and in this fragrance I believe that the pistachio takes the lead so before on the other one the lemon was taking the lead definitely the pistachio is taking the lead while the lactonic notes are there they're just kind of hanging out in the background but they're clearly there I love this one the longevity is really good on this one I believe the sillage is good and to me, it's clearly a more feminine fragrance. You know, men can wear it, but I feel as though it's very much so a feminine fragrance. Very fun to wear, very enjoyable. I feel as though the packaging, the quality of the packaging is really good. And speaking of that, I failed to talk about the packaging on Devotion. I'm just gonna grab her for a second. I'm back with Devotion. I know this may be a little bit cheesy, but I love this bottle. I love the little emblem or whatever that is on this packaging. Some people think that that's tacky and cheesy, and that's okay, but I like it. I think that it's very, very pretty, and I think it looks really good on my vanity or wherever it is that I wanna place it. And the, the sprayer is a really good quality on this one. All right, so back on uh, this fragrance. On the back of it, you can find the notes, and I also put the notes on the screen. I really do like that it has like a matte or a um, frost. 
it's a frosted type of glass which I don't see a lot of or you know I don't have a lot of fragrances to I guess to even make that statement but I don't really see a lot of the frosted bottles but if you definitely like pistachio and uh, mixed in with the lactonic note you'll definitely enjoy this one all right, so next up I have a body mist and this is by Nest and this is the Balinese Coconut Body Mist. And this one, of course, it's got that coconut in it and it has a creamy coconut and that's one of the first fragrances that you have in it and so initially when you spray it you're gonna get a lot of that lactonic note now this particular body mist I feel lasts a little bit longer in comparison to other body mists and that's largely in part due to the oil that's added to it so if you like coconut milk or any type of coconut cake or anything coconut you're clearly going to get this and for it to be a body mist uh, the longevity is really good I feel like you got to spray a little bit more but even still the longevity is good and I think that these to me these are um, if we're going to rank as far as body mist because I've used quite a few I would say that this one is up there and again I think that's because of the oil all right so last up my fragrance is cream brulee and right off the top we already know creme brulee. We know what it smells like. It's a milk-based dessert. If that's your jam, this definitely would be one for you. Totally, totally a lactonic smelling fragrance. It also has vanilla and powder in it, but the creme brulee scent, the lactonic note, is definitely front and center. Now this one doesn't have a long lasting staying power. You could mix a scented oil or maybe a vanilla based oil. It's just a simple oil to just kind of help it last a little bit longer. But this one's super affordable. I think this one was like 22 or 25 I'm not sure <laughs> but it's super affordable and if you like those lactonic notes definitely consider creme brulee all right so that's it those are my fragrances that have a lactonic note attached to it let me know down in the comments do you think you would like lactonic notes do you have any fragrances with a lactonic note let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches Thank <sniffs> you.